Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, we're going to check out Road to Vostok, which just had a demo released as of the making of this video. And as the Steam page says, Road to Vostok is a hardcore single player survival game set in a post apocalyptic border zone between Finland and Russia. Survive, loot, plan, and prepare your way across the border zone and enter Vostok. The developer on Steam is listed as just Road to Vostok, the same as the game title, but this is developed by one single person. And I'm very interested to check this out. I've been following the development on the YouTube channel, which I'll leave links to as well as the Steam page in the description below. And the fact that it's all made by one person really impresses me. As always, I like to cover indie developers, especially small ones. With all that said, this is a very, very early public demo. So I expect there to be not much content to show off, but we'll hopefully get a feel for the gunplay and movement. So what we can see as we load in is some kind of tutorial. There's a demo transition there, so we kind of go over the basics i guess and then we'll go into some simple small scenario we've got fps count at the top left and milliseconds as well as our health body arms in the top left there so let's read these and we'll go through them together in this video welcome to public demo one the purpose of this small demo is to get initial feedback on the core mechanics and to give a realistic picture of how the development is progressing road to vostok is currently in an active production phase and solo development from finland have fun testing the demo. You can freely stream record or share footage from the demo. Controls, so we got WASD, shift to run, sprint uh, is control, space to jump, C to crouch, Z to prone. We got lean, uh, right mouse aim, uh, scrout to lower, higher, a weapon I guess. Primary, secondary, F. Oh, time of day just changed, that was weird. Uh, fire mode is F, reload. Uh, mouse 4, flashlight, and laser, okay. Uh, middle mouse, interact, G to grab, specials, 4, 5. Oh, there we go. That's why it changed, because I was pressing numbers. 4 is dawn, 5 is day, dusk, and night. Oh, no, so we can see what it looks like in the different times of day. Oh, I like this demo. This is the kind of demo we should always get. Okay, let's carry on before I get too excited. All objects that logically have storage space are loot containers that can store items. Each container, whether it's a cabinet, crate, tent, or trash bag, updates every time when you enter the map. You can open containers with the middle mouse. In addition to containers, loot is also generated through simulation, which makes sure the items are never in the same place. Okay, crate, our inventory. And we have our slots here. All items are physical objects. You can loot them, grab them, and place them anywhere you want. In this demo, items are demonstrated using these colored cans, which are also uh, represent item rarity level. Okay, so middle mouse we should be able to pick up and tab for inventory. We've got stats here, infection, poison, radiation, hypothermia, hypovolemia, uh, Shock, oh, okay. there's quite a lot of stats. Health bar, a level, as there will be some RPG elements to this as well. Volume that we're making, I guess. And then our weight there, a four of 100 as well. Yeah, okay, so that's kind of tied together. Okay, interactive radio that works. You can grab and place items with G. <gasps> oh my God, yes. Okay, that's awesome. Once you have this, grab, rotate, and uh, scroll, and you can place... Oh, the distance. <gasps> yes! Oh, I love it. Okay, let's carry on. Let's get to the meat and potatoes here, the guns. Each weapon uses a procedural weapon handling, and aiming, and recoil system. Once you move the weapon from inventory to equipment slot, the weapon is available for activation. You can activate a primary weapon with one, a secondary with two... You can swap from primary to secondary, or vice versa, with activation keys. You can lower and raise your weapon with scroll wheel. Raising or aiming a weapon consumes armor, uh, arm stamina value. Okay, let's pick up a pistol here. Okay, so let's equip a pistol by left click to put it in our secondary. And we can mouse wheel up and down to raise and lower. Okay, awesome. Let's grab... Okay, let's grab this... K416. Yeah, we put that into our primary. Okay, nice. All right, let's see if we got ammo. Just switch to this pistol. Okay, not too bad. 
Let's, uh, let's try this sniper. Let's get this rifle. I do like the scopes. They look so nice. Okay, we see the round pop out. That's pretty useful. If we press X, we can look at our weapon, which just gives us details on our weapon condition, ammo capacity, fire mode, and uh, the weapon that's uh, got the scope. The scope on our weapon, as well as the muzzle attachment, which we don't have any at the moment, which is uh, really nice to have. So let's move on to AI Spawner here. This demo uses AI Spawner that endlessly spawns enemies to the map. When you go to the map, there are no enemies at first. Enemies only appear when you activate the spawner. You can activate AI Spawner from the demo menu. Ah, there we go. So we have options here. So let's, uh, we'll leave that off for now, but we've got dual render scopes. Let's turn that on and see what that does. We've got loads of settings here and actually my field of view is 70. So let's whack that all the way up. Oh, okay. So that's a proper scope now. So let me have a look at that M416 scope just again, just quickly. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay. So the performance in this is amazing. We are running, should be 1440p, but we're not actually running on maximum settings. So let's crank this up to extreme and see what we can uh, get FPS wise. We can change the weather. We'll, we'll have a look what the weather looks like as well in a moment. We'll leave the sync off debug profile. We'll keep that so we can see the FPS, ambient occlusion on, sharpen filter. We, we don't really need that, but we'll leave it for now. Uh, we can change the post processor settings individually here. So we can... Uh, We'll turn that vignette off. We'll have... We'll leave those mid. And let's put some rain on and have a look what this looks like. We can change our sensitivity as well. Ambient volume. Uh, it's very individual settings here. Scope sensitivity. So pretty good for a first demo, to be honest. Well, it's gone overcast and there is a sound, but I don't really see rain. So let's change that to storm. Ambient sound effects have changed, but okay, that's nice. We got storm sound, we got thunder and lightning. I mean, that's definitely a step in the right direction, isn't it? Right, roadmap. Let's have a look here. So let's look at board number seven. Then we got the public demo one, which is where we're at now, quarter three, twenty twenty-two. We're looking at public demo two in quarter three, twenty twenty-three, which will be a vertical slice uh, gameplay loop. Uh, we're going to kind of get an impressions of the actual game then. So we'll have a couple of maps there added. And uh, looks like we'll have a, like a home base. Uh, to be announced for early access though, which will be the commercial Steam version, which uh, we'll have a couple more maps added and some more bases and possibly extra maps. Uh, if I try and understand this kind of roadmap correctly. Full release, commercial release uh, again, will be on Steam and to be announced also which will have, what's that, eight maps, 10 maps, and uh, yeah, a lot of content. So um, yeah, by, by one person, this is a lot of work, and I'm impressed so far. Feedback. Although most of the mechanics are still unfinished, feedback and bug reports are more than welcome. And then you can prioritize bugs with a traffic light system, with red being breaking playability, and yellow being significantly affects playability, and green being does not affect playability, so minor bugs. Right. Well, we've got some guns. So I'm going to take a shotgun as well, because I'm a, I'm a shotgun guy and a revolver guy. So I'm a bit sad there's no revolver, but let's go through. So here we are through the demo transition. We've got a little tiny town here. Not 100% sure how big this section of the map is going to be. But we're going to have a look around. See if there's any loot. See how much of the dynamic loot system might be working and containers. So we can have a look in here and we have some items. You can click on the transfer button there and then left click to transfer across. Just to test out those mechanics. So it's not 100% intuitive with this down here. I've kind of had to figure that out myself that you've got to change from use to transfer. It is nice that it's different uh, from other games that have this. I, I can't think of an, another game that does it like this. That You've got to change from use to transfer. Usually it's you hover over and then you have a different button press or a drop down menu you can use or throw or drop. So it's kind of different in that way. Let's have a look in that container. Is that... 
What the heck? Okay, I thought I was getting bombed. Right, let's open a door. So we've got a door opening mechanic here. Let's have another look in this container. Okay, nothing in there of note. Let's keep on moving. I'll open this door here. Nothing in there of note. Have a look in the fridge. So I think it's just the placeholder items. I don't think there's like ammo or magazines or anything like that we have to find. It seems to be just those cans with the rarity color code to them. Nice bit of artwork there on the wall. So let's have a look. We have impact and dust clouds. Seems uh, that we have unlimited ammo at the moment. Not sure on how it's going to work with weapon loot like ammo and megs. If we're going to load in individual rounds like stalker type of thing. Or Tarkov as a, as a good example. I guess the closest thing this would be like would be a Stalker, I guess. I keep saying Tarkov, but I think this is actually going to be a single player experience with RPG elements against AI. Right, I haven't actually turned on the spawner, have I? I've just been walking around taking a look. Uh, let's press escape here and we'll put the AI spawner on. Let's see if any AI actually spawn. I'm going to get inside a building just in case. So just as an FYI as well, this is built in the Unity engine. Right, where's this AI then? Is AI working? <gasps> yep, 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 AI's working. Okay. Question is, can we loot a body? What does that say on that sign? Oh, it doesn't show in the scope. Okay, let's go down there and have a look. We sprint with control, and we can see our numbers dropping on the top left. Our health is down to 75, and our body stamina is dropping. We can loot a... Okay, we can loot a body, but there is no loot. And we can pick up a gun. Pretty sure those shots were somebody else. Any oh, God. Okay, I died. So it looks like we got the foundation down, and this is extremely well built. I'm very impressed for one person. This has got to be among the best, if not the best, demos from a single developer I've played. Uh, I do wonder how much assets are actually made by the... Uh, developer though okay before the ai spawn what does this sound like okay that's good we'll have a little run around this area we have got this sniper on because somebody shot me down there okay okay pretty good took me to 50% though let's go and have a look through this demo transition see if it takes us to a different area I wouldn't be surprised, though, if it didn't, and this was just the demo area. Maybe take us back to the tutorial area. Yeah, there we go. Just back to the tutorial. So, first impressions. I'm very impressed. For a single developer, I'm actually more excited for the full release now of this, or demos down the line, demo 2 and then early access let me know your thoughts in the comment section below are you uh, excited for road to vostok i've been following it for a while so it's really good to get my hands on this demo i did not expect a demo to be coming to be honest but yeah check it out i'll leave a link to the steam page in the description below or have you been following vostok for a while like myself and you're just excited to support another small indie developer making a great 
game, and an awesome project. I'm, I am thoroughly impressed. I'll leave a link to the developer's YouTube channel as well, where you'll get to see some more content over there and some devlogs and things. He's quite active over there. So I would highly recommend going and checking that out if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video, though, or the dislike button, and subscribe if you want to see more of the content I create and games that I cover. But most of all, thank you for watching and checking out Road to Vostok's demo with me. I'll see you peeps next time.